Anonymous says, you've warned against multisig, but also recommended the smart custody book, smart custody 2.0 under edit, currently in draft, um, goes into multisig. Do you see multisig ever becoming safe to use? I, I need to clarify here because this is a misunderstanding of my position. Multisig is a fantastic tool for security, specifically Bitcoin's on-chain multisig is a fantastic tool for security and it has numerous applications. It is incredibly secure. Um, and if properly deployed, um, you can balance the security that you get from multisig with recoverability. The key question there is if properly deployed. What I have said is that multisig is unsuitable for non-technical users who do not fully appreciate the risks um, that multisig introduces in the area of recoverability, specifically the fact that because multisig addresses are hash of the multisig script, which contains the public keys of all of the participating keys. So for example, if you have a two of three, you need three public keys um, to construct the multisig address uh, that you need in order to sign. So even though you only need two of the three keys to apply the signature, the thing you're applying the signature against, which is the address, requires all three public keys, which means you have to have a backup of the XPOBs. If any of the things that I just said didn't immediately make sense to you, you're like, oh, well, of course, if you don't have the three XPOBs, then you can generate the three public keys in the specific sequence to generate the addresses that are hashed into the... Um, uh, the scripts that are hashed into the address of the multisig, and therefore when you try to recover, because the signature is applied to the multisig script and the script itself contains the public keys, then um, I would be at a loss uh, to do that. Uh, if any of that wasn't immediately obvious to you, uh, then, you know, without any judgment, you do not have the technical skills to manage multisig. It's really as simple as that, and it's not a suitable technique for your own private uh, key security. So uh, there's, a, there's a specific technique called multi-factor multi-sig or single user multi-sig where you basically have three seeds and, and, and you store backups of them and you use two of the three seeds to sign transactions. And that way, if you lose one seed, you have the other two. And that is uh, a technique that a very advanced expert user could use to secure their own funds. Um, there's a whole other category of multi-sig, which is multi-user multi-sig, which is the most common uh, deployment of multi-sig, and that comes in two broad applications. One is if you have a company and you don't want um, the CEO, um, let's call the CEO Sam, for example, to be able to run away with all the money or give it to his girlfriend or whatever, um, and you want to have um, balance and separation of duties and segregation of controls, then what you do is you use the kind of corporate operational multi-sig where you have, say, a three of five, and it takes three executives with their own seeds generated separately to sign for uh, any transaction out of the corporate funds. So a single executive without the cooperation of at least two others cannot raid the company's funds. Um, so that's a, a different form of multi-sig, and again, the people who are doing that usually have the operational expertise to do that and do it correctly. Uh, finally, there's a, 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 a multi-user multi-sig where it's your funds, but you have other organizations acting as a service provider having a minority of the seeds, this is important, a minority of the seeds, meaning that organization can't spend funds, but that organization has backups in case you lose one of your seeds or devices. This is the model of Unchained Capital or CASA. Uh, it's used for inheritance planning and it's used for um, uh, kind of recoverability and security. And, and this is where you have a hybrid custody model where you still have majority control, but the other company has backups to help you in case you have a problem. Um, again, that is an entire framework using multisig as a building component, but they also know how to properly back up all of the XPUBs and set up all of the devices and, and, and do that. So it's a managed uh, service. That is a good choice for many people. The one thing I'm saying is don't go and try to do multi-sig as a two of three with three seeds of your own um, without expert supervision if you don't understand the nuances of recoverability for a multi-sig. 
Um, and the vast majority of people don't understand the nuances. I didn't understand the nuances uh, even after I've used that kind of scheme for a while. So uh, it's for experts, and uh, you you don't you don't go um, playing the game at a much harder level uh, than you're ready to play. Don't go for the big boss until you've leveled up. 